<clears throat> Hello everyone. I'm here for a layout and I changed my scrapbook room. I bought uh, Michael's had the Jet Max on sale 40% and I've been wanting the desktop. So I got the desktop plus four of those three drawers cubes things um so I now have a desk with 12 drawers it's awesome so my so my table was wider so this one isn't as wide and it's up against the wall so I'll have to I like completely change my scrapbook room I have all jet max cubes everything else I got rid of everything is jet max it looks so much nicer than what I had anyway so I have, so with all that, I got three over my three day weekend. I didn't do too, I didn't get to do too much scrapbooking because I've been assembling. But I did manage to get three pages done. And this one I actually finished sewing at school. This one I used a whole lot of my scraps that I had. So uh, I glued them down and then I didn't like how it looked just a bunch of different pattern papers just kind of on the sitting on the paper so I took my so easy which I've showed you what that looks like before but I'll show again oops sorry I keep my camera uh, let me get it it's this and I used the I think I still have it attached to my tool I can get it it is, yep, yeah, it's still attached. And I used the uh, zigzag. I think what it was called. Alright. I'm not sure how the lighting's going to turn out. So, because I have it where the window's behind the camera. And I have my op light on. So we'll see how the lighting looks. Because I like the uh, light. It makes everything more bright. But anyway, so I took that and I ran it up each seam of the pattern paper. And I think it looks a whole lot better. It makes it look like it fits now. Before it was just a bunch of different patterns glued to the paper. But now this looks cool. And my towel is going to be one cool dog. Uh, my brother put a hat on a while back, put a hat on Roxy, and she was all for it, as you can see. She just kind of sat there like, oh yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> so, anyway, so we, I took a picture, and I thought it was cute, and then I have a dog here that I put a hat on. Kind of try to match it. That's camouflage. And I, this one I don't have wrote down sizes, so I'm going to use my gypsy my title is one and a quarter inches and it came from i'm going to try to get to cartridges in use making the grade cartridge that one i bought from uh making the grade i just got that one oh, last weekend uh from big lots they had a baby cricket that my niece is just up in Iowa. My niece is getting, and my sister too, I figured could use it for home decor. They had a baby cricket marked down from $100 to $60, and it come with the Georgian Basic Fonts cartridge, so that's good. And they had making the grade for $18, so I couldn't, and I've been wanting to upgrade, get more font cartridges to give me more of a selection so of fonts, so I got that $18 can't pass that up anyway the this is from Animal Kingdom and the hat is from Everyday Paper Dolls and let me tell you what size the hat is four and the dog is four inches the journaling oops, this right here is from Gypsy Wanderings and it is four inches as well and then my photo is five and a quarter by three and three quarters no sorry that's my mats it's five by three and a half sorry this one I didn't mat on anything I'm letting the pattern paper that I stitched be what is behind the picture 
and I just love how this one turned out with the stitching and everything. And this, I actually pulled from this pattern, this square here, and my mat and my mat come from this pattern right here. And the stacks and the these are all scraps, so they've come from a variety of different paper packs. And I just used a white, just regular white cardstock. And then I actually took my title, and that is this print here. And <clears throat> let me see. And my ribbon, I just did a yellow ribbon. I just put this ribbon here that I had. And, <coughs> excuse me. And then I took two colors that are in this ribbon. So I took a yellow, pulled it from this, and then the green and tied them here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this and my tweezers and what am I missing my ATG which I gotta try to go through my tripod and get that because my tripod's having to sit next to me although I do have an island a little island now in the middle of my room that's where my desk were is in the middle of the room and so I actually have an island there now so I could almost uh, film from the island too then that would allow the camera to be beside me instead of or off to the side where it's not right in my way I might try that one day Especially so I can see. Maybe lighting will be better over there. I don't know. But we'll see how this all turns out. Alright, so I'm going to glue my title first. So I've just been on doing all kinds of decorating. When I got home from work today, I actually moved my TV from the shelf I had it on. Because now I watch TV while I'm scrapbooking. Most of the time I'm watching... I love horror movies, so usually that's what I'm watching, whether it's Netflix or Blockbuster. So, I uh, will watch a movie, anyway, and scrap. Sometimes mainly watch a movie, <laughs> especially if it's like on a good part of a movie or something like by myself. Eyes glued to the TV, so I like scary movies. So. And so I had to move the TV because now it is, my desk where it is, is now against, or with the TV behind me. So I moved it on top of my Jetmax cubes that I have over by my door where I enter the room. My next thing is organizing my closet. Oh my goodness. That is just a big mess in there because some stuff I just throw in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's my next goal. The sewing machine I just need to get rid of. It doesn't, the back stitch on it's broke. It's just really old. I don't even want it anymore. So, I just. I need to get it out of the closet and some other stuff. I got a entertainment center which I was using with cloth, put cloth drawers in the space where you would put a VCR and that I was using as storage. It was black and I painted it white and uh, so yeah that's in there. And getting this desk with the 12 drawers freed up some other drawers so I was able to take my ribbon out of the containers I was using that my brother got from school from my teacher was throwing them out and so he thought of me and yeah so those are sitting in the closet now yeah, I, need to, I gave away two desks that my computer was on one and my brother was using the other as a scrapbook desk which the tabletops come, um, if you don't know, the Jetmax tabletops come with two tabletops inside. I did not know that until I opened it up. I'm like, whoa, two tabletops, my goodness. So I was able to go yesterday, not on sale, but, and I, my thing was to put my computer and my laptop printer and, t and TV on there. 
but that now serves as my brother's desk so I gave it that to him I was gonna put my TV on there but I gave it to him instead so he can have a nice desk and he's got six drawers so that gives him a place to put his stuff a nicer desk than what he had even though he comes over here once a week but he still deserves since he's my scrap buddy he's still he's willing to come scrapbook with me not too many men will do that my husband is one of them it's just not for him that is okay my brother comes every sunday or more if we've got a long weekend so and he's doing a great job at it too i should show some of his pages but I might go get his book and show and just sneak peek. Won't he be surprised when he watches this video? I'll show his page. I'm not sure if he did one of me pretending we they had drank some beer when we did the trees, knocked down the trees. Um, and my dad killed those woodpeckers. I did that. I lay out on that. Um, he actually took these pictures after that happened. We buried them. And then I took the beer cans and pretended like I had too much to drink. Because I don't even like beer. I'm more of a margarita type person. Alright. And my poochie. And this one's pretty simple. Uh, layout. And that is that. That's all I had for this one. The most work was the sewing. That took some time. I did that. Um, a little bit this morning. I got up at four and did a little bit of scrapbooking before work. And I uh, did some stitching on it then and last night before bed. So, and I finished it. I worked on it this morning when I got to school and then I worked on it, finished it at my lunch break at 12.30. So, that's pretty cool. So, that completes this layout and I will... I have some more, so I will get those set up, and then I will be back. Bye.